Here we are dealing with the frigid temperatures and it is just brutal to be outside even for a little bit amount of time. Are we going to get a break at all this week, Kristen, from these really cold temperatures? We absolutely will. Today, one more cold day and temperatures tonight down into the teens with wind chills in the single digits. But tomorrow, a very seasonable day on our way to temperatures about 20 degrees above normal for Wednesday, Thursday. So a little bit of a roller coaster this week. We start off on the cold side of it, and we even have the last few of these snow flurries and snow showers that are pushing through the area. You can see mainly through portions of Westmoreland County. We have a couple of these snowflakes left just to the north of Greensburg, right along Route 30. We're seeing just the last little bit of this flurry activity. This will start to die out over about the next half an hour. Sun trying to break through the clouds in spots behind this. You see that week Front that came through gave us those brisk, brisk northwesterly winds and those snow showers. That's off to the southeast now, and we have this ridge of high pressure. That's going to keep us in dry conditions tomorrow and Wednesday. And on the back side of that, some southwesterly wind flow that will boost the temperatures over the next 48 hours. We need it because we're at 18 degrees now in Pittsburgh. Winds west northwest at 13 miles per hour. Look at that low this morning, 10 degrees. Right now it feels like five degrees when you factor in that wind chill. Current temperatures around the area were almost up to the 20s across some areas. Morgantown's at 20, Greensburg, Washington at 19, Butler is at 19, and we're looking at temperatures this afternoon that make it into the mid to maybe the upper 20s in areas south of Pittsburgh down toward Waynesburg, possibly toward the Morgantown area. But future cast, we stay in those 20s today. You see a mixture of clouds and some breaks of blue sky, and then tonight the sky's clear. Cold temperatures stick around. We're down to the lower teens in many areas. Pittsburgh's low right around 14, but it'll feel like the single digits in many spots. Then tomorrow's high, more average for late February as we reach the upper 30s. Lows only in the upper 20s as we head toward Wednesday morning. And look at this. By lunchtime, we're even close to 50 degrees. Now, let's jump ahead to Thursday because we are watching a storm system that will be approaching late week. So we want to make you aware that we could have some impactful weather Thursday night into Friday. Rain to start. It'll be warm Thursday. And you see this moisture moving in with temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. We could have kind of a soaking rain late Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening. Then cold air arrives behind this. Right now, the track and the timing of the storm system still a little bit in flux, but we're watching this because it looks like after midnight and into Friday morning, this will change over to some snow showers. Question is, will we see any accumulating snow? At the very least, it will be possibly a slick start to your commute on Friday morning. So we'll want to make you aware of that, and we will keep you apprised as the week progresses. 26 today, 36 tomorrow, 50s the middle of the week. But then we're back down to those 30s on Friday before 40s, Lindsay, for the weekend.